It's another episode of the Peak Signing Agents Podcast. Are you excited? I know I am. Hey, again, thank you for tuning in to another episode because I want to give you some more tips on how to become a peak signing agent. Why do I say a peak signing agent? Because there's so many signing agents out there who are just maybe average or below average. I want to help you become a peak signing agent so that you get the most business. And I'm going to give you a tip on how to get more business, how to market to someone other than the title or lender. Because most people think when I'm gonna go marketing, I'm gonna market to the escrow officer, I'm gonna market to the loan officer, or maybe market to the real estate agent. In fact, that just gives me an idea for maybe another episode on how to market to real estate agents and get business from them. Because a lot of people don't realize that the that the real estate agent can pick their notary. You know who else can pick their notary? The signer, the borrower, the person on the loan can also pick their notary. And that's this topic today on this episode is how you can get repeat business from signers, from the borrowers. So let's get into it. People don't realize, like I said, that the signers themselves can pick their signing agent. So for example, if you know someone who is buying, selling, or refinancing their home, you can ask them, hey, who's the title company you're working with? Who's your notary coming over? Because you can request me to come over and be that notary. They have to accommodate that. Now, I'm gonna give you some information. If your friend, your brother, your cousin, your aunt is buying a home and they tell a title company, hey, I actually actually have a notary that I want to come over to my house. Some title companies will say, no problem. Who is it? What's their email? Why did you choose them? Like, what's the details of it? And that might be just be totally fine because they already pay the notaries um, out of their fees, the title company. Some title companies actually charge the fees to the signer. So even though, uh, you know, your best friend might request you to be the signing agent, your fee that you would get paid is actually being paid by your friend. So just keep that in mind because you might not want to add an extra $150, $250 to your friend's closing costs just so that you could get paid. Me personally, I wouldn't want to do that. If I knew it was going to cost or charge my friend or family more money, I would not request to be the signing agent. I say, yeah, actually, yeah, just go into the office or have your uh, escrow officer or assistant come to you at your home or your place of business or whatever it is that makes it more convenient for you. Uh, if it wasn't going to cost, if it was going to cost more money to have me go out as a signing agent, but if it wasn't going to cost them more money. Um, I would say, yeah, tell them to send me out there. That's a good way to get introduced to a new escrow officer and to a new loan officer. So I'm giving you guys two tips here, all right, about having a signer request you. This first tip is if you personally know someone who is buying, selling, refinancing, taking out equity, whatever with their home, they can request you as their signing agent they have to, the escrow officer has to accommodate that because they are, they are the customer. They are requesting that, but just know that they might charge your friend, family member, an extra fee for that. It will now come out of their pocket. And I wouldn't want that to happen to my friend or family. However, if they do do it, now you have an introduction to that escrow officer, to that loan officer. Or, you, I mean, you could still even have them request you and you pay the fee. Basically, you're paying 100 you know, let's just say your fee is $150 for an example. You're just paying $150 to be used. So you say, hey, friend or family, they're going to try probably charge you. You know, I'll pay that. I'll just give you some cash if that's okay. I mean, you know, makes it a little weird because <laughs> it's going to be added to their balance of their loan. But if they're open for it, um, why not? You can give them cash for it. Okay, I'll give you cash for the closing for, for, for the notary fee. I'll I'll pay you that notary fee. Because then it just gets you an in with the escrow or loan company. Or you could just say, hey, actually, what's the title company that you're using? Do you mind introducing me to them? 
that's a way too. just actually maybe that's even a better way hey hey friend or family i know you're refinancing um what, by curiosity who's your escrow officer you mind introducing me to them hey why not that's a let people know you're in business let people know what you do and if you have a way in with with a friend or family that's working with a title company at the time being ask for an introduction why not or the loan officer ask for an introduction why not you never know what can come from it doesn't hurt to ask doesn't hurt to try the worst thing that can happen is they'll say no and already the answer is already no because they don't even know you the answer is already no why not ask because you might get a yes and be used by them in the future so again here's one way to have a signer get business from is having them introduce you to their escrow or loan officer and loan officer i should say another one is if and i'll tell you this has worked for me i've gotten plenty of business by by doing this right here i'll be at a signing and they'll talk about their previous notary they'll talk about their previous experience they'll talk about a previous home that they bought or sold and i'll just ask oh out of curiosity do you buy a lot of homes do you sell a lot of homes and i get a response sometimes of yes i do yeah, I have met real estate investors who buy property all over the country and they live here near me. They live, you know, in my state, but they're buying property all over the country. I always ask questions. When I, so when they're buying a home and I see the occupancy is a second home writer or it's an investment property, I'll ask questions like, oh, do you buy a lot of property? Or they're selling a house. Oh, why are you selling this house? Do you, did you just move here? Or, you know, I'll ask questions like this to find out, are they an investor? Are they an, a real estate investor? If they're a real estate investor, they're probably buying homes all over the country. They don't know who they're working with a lot of times because it's maybe with a program or just someone in that area or they did it online. So they don't even know who the people they're really working with. And they're buying and selling properties all over, all over the time, all the time. And I just, so when we're done with the signing, everything's done. I double check everything. I kind of give them, you know, my closing, like, oh, this is, you know, this is a refinance and you've got, this will fund tomorrow. I'm going to drop this off at FedEx right now or UPS right this minute. They'll get it tomorrow. They'll fund it. You know, if you look on the, the on the settlement statement, the disbursement date is for tomorrow. They'll get this tomorrow. They're going to work on this for you. Everything's going to happen. You know, I just kind of give them kind of what's happening. What, what's, what's, what's happening at the end of, of our signing? And I say, and I don't know if you know this, but you as the signer, you as the borrower, you as the um, investor, I don't know if you know this, but you can choose your notary. So what this is what you're going to tell them, okay? If they're like, oh, I didn't know that. So yeah, so, you know, now that I know you, uh, you know, and for me, I use a, my notary journal. I use an app. It's allowed in my state. So if it's allowed in your state, you know, check it out. I use an app. And it scans, um, it, it, it scans the barcode on the back of their driver's license and it fills all the information in for them. And it's just a lot of, you know, it's a touch screen. You just kind of choose, is this an, is this an acknowledgement? Is this a, a juror app? Whatever it is. Um, it's a great app. I enjoy using it. If you want to know more details, message me. And I'll, I'll, I'll give you details about it. But it also has a function where it, it can take a picture of the front of their ID. I do this every time. So I always have pictures of people's ID. It, it's a safe, secure uh, app and it's saved uh, the information in a safe, secure place in the cloud. And you can always pull up your journal anytime you need it. Like I said, it's nice, safe and secure. So I do this and I just say, you know, I already know you now. I've, I've seen your ID. I've met you. If you've, if you've liked the process that we went through today, you can request me as your notary every time. Now, again, I don't call them a signing agent. I don't call myself a signing agent. They don't know what a signing agent is. That's not their lingo. That's not the language they use. They use the term notary. So I go, as I tell them, I don't know if you know this, but you can choose your notary. And a lot of people are like, oh, I didn't know that. And I say, yeah, so if you enjoyed working with me today, I've already met you. I've, I don't need to... I don't need to like, you know, thoroughly check your ID every time now I come over. I know where you live now, so I know how to get here. Um, you know, I, I now know your your spouse and your kids and your dog. I, I know I know everybody now here in the family because I've been here for the last half hour. Um, here's my card. Whenever you're going to buy or sell again, 
and you're working with the title company, you can let them know, oh, by the way, I already have a preferred notary. Here's their contact information. Please contact them. They'll print the documents. They'll come to my house. They'll drop it off at FedEx UPS. They'll do everything for me. And then, so, let's just use a real life example that I have. Again, I live here in Utah, if you're not aware. I live in Utah. And I have a client that I do a ton of signings for them. This is how it started. We had an appointment. We had a signing appointment. This was during the pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic. He wanted to meet at a Wendy's. He does not like people coming to his house. He doesn't like, he doesn't like signings happening in his house. But he buys and sells real estate all over the country. So we had an appointment to meet at a Wendy's. I get there about 10 minutes early. I go up, the doors are locked, right? The dining room is closed to the Wendy's. So the dining room's closed, we can't go inside. And I'm there about 10, 15 minutes early. I'm, I always try to arrive early. So I'm there early and I message him, hey, I'm just here, I'm here at the Wendy's and the dining room's locked, we can't get in. However, if you get here, just look for me, uh, cause again, I have a mobile office. And if you're watching on YouTube, I record every episode in the back of my mobile office. So I say, I'm in a mobile office. It's a black Mercedes van with a license plate notary. Hop on in. We can sign inside my mobile office. He's like, oh, weird. I just did a signing there last week and it was open. So again, that was his message to me. I just did a signing there last week and it was open. My antennas perked up. I'm like, oh, he has done a signing before. We're doing another signing today. Is this guy an investor? That's kind of going through my head. So he says, okay, I'll be there, you know, at four o'clock, whatever the time was. Okay, I'll be there at four o'clock. I'll see you then. And then he messes me back. Uh, maybe five minutes later, he goes, hey, since you have a mobile office, do you mind coming to my home? I'm not too far from there. From the, from the Wendy's that we were meeting, I'm not, I don't live too far from there. Do you mind coming to my home? I said, sure, not a problem. Send me your address. Send me the address. I get there. Um, he's like, I'll, can I just, you know, I'll just hop, I'll just hop in the mobile office. So I pull up in his driveway, text him, I'm here. He comes out and we do it. We do it right here in the back of my mobile office. And I just asked him, so you, you mentioned that you did a signing last week. Did you, are you, did you sell a house and you're buying another house or what is it? And he said, no, I'm a, I'm a real estate investor. I buy properties all the time. In fact, I, you know, I'm probably going to do another one next week or two. I got another one I'm going to do in, you know, this state. I said, oh, that's very cool. By the way, I don't know if you realize this, but you as a signer can actually tell them that you have a preferred notary and that you have one that you prefer to use every time, which could be me. If you enjoyed working with me, I have now seen your ID. I know where you live. I can come here every time to do it for you. And he said, I would love that. Can I have your card? I gave him my card. Um, the next signing that he had coming up, he let me know, Hey, I've got a signing coming up. I said, great. And he said, it will probably be this day. I said, great. I, already, I put it in my calendar, you know, have the title company send me the details and I'll, I'll print documents. I'll be there. Well, he messaged me back and said, Oh, sorry. They already got a notary lined up. They're coming tomorrow. And I said, Oh, okay. Not a big deal. So this was a learning lesson for me. So I told him. The next time you have one coming up, let them know in advance that you already have a preferred notary that you use. And he's like, I will. So I wasn't sure what was gonna happen with this next notary. Maybe this next notary was gonna do a better job than me and take it over, I don't know, right? Well, that didn't happen. Um, the next one came up and he's, he already told him in advance, hey, I'm buying a property in Georgia. I already told the title company, I have a preferred notary here that lives by me and I want, I want Derek to be my notary to come over and do the signing for me. I said, great, what's Derek's email? What's his phone number? And that created a relationship with us. Me and this investor have a relationship now. We're from, we text, we text now, you know, and, and I've done this with, with many investors, but I'm just giving you this example because this has happened last week. I, I, I did another signing for them. He and his girlfriend or fiance, they are real estate investors. They both, I have with both of them, I've done probably four or five signings with each of them separate. They do these, they do them separately. So um, the, the first gentleman, I've done already five 
properties with him and with, with his fiance. I've done another five properties with her. I've done a total of 10 signings with them with four or five title companies. They've bought, they've bought properties in the same state a couple times. So I've done about 10 signings with them through about four or five different title companies. And one of the title companies use me for other investors in the area. The other ones, I don't know if they use me or if they just don't have many other clients in the area. Um, that's actually just kind of reminds me right now. I, that's a, I need to do better marketing uh, with these other title companies. Let them know I'm available in the area for any other real estate investors. They can reach out to me right away. Uh, they're happy with my work. You know, they're happy with my work. I just need to do a better job of, of uh, marketing myself, actually, now that I think about it. So uh, hindsight... Like I did with one, I just say, hey, and if you, hey, how did it go? I should have called them and said, how did the paperwork look? The signing went well. Uh, you probably got the paperwork now. Everything looked good. Great. I'm happy to accommodate any other signings you might have in my area. Please feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to do it for you. I'll be happy to accommodate your clients. That's the type of language that I talk when I do it. So that's what I need to do. Now that I say this, in hindsight, I need to do a better job of this. And the next time I do it, I will call them and market myself basically to them that I'm available and I'll be happy to do it for them. And so this is what you can do. If you, if your antennas go off that, that you're at a signing and that they seem like they might be a real estate investor, they buy houses all the time and property all the time throughout the country. You can be their preferred notary that they tell their title company to use you every time. And now you can market to that title company, uh, for your area that they can use you because there might be other investors. Some investors use programs. So they get involved with programs. They have like mentors and they have teachers who kind of teach them how to do this, how to, how to flip homes, how to buy homes, how to, how to do all this out of state. They, they, a lot of them are in programs. So, so if they, if they're a part of a program, that means other people in the area are also in this program buying and selling real estate. So that's a good way to market yourself to, through signers okay so i just gave you two ways to market through signers one way if you personally know someone who is buying selling refinancing uh you can ask them if they need a mobile notary and if you can be their mobile notary and then through that way you can say who was the escrow officer who was the loan officer and take care of that the second way to do it is if you're at a signing, you find out that someone is a real estate investor, you can ask them to make you their preferred notary to tell their title company that they already have a preferred notary, which is you. And now you can market to that title company and say, I'm available in this area for any other of your clients. All right. So again, I have gotten great business. I've created great business relationships through this, through signers. Just, just asking the right questions. Like, oh, do you, did you just buy another house? Did you just sell another house? Oh, you're a real estate investor. Did you know that you can choose your notary? Right? Just asking the right questions can give you more business like that. So again, I hope this is another great tip that you can use to generate more business to grow and explode your business. Again, thanks for watching and listening and have a great one. Bye.